Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and rockauto.com. Mitsubishi brought the Eclipse name back into their lineup for 2018, but not as the small, sporty two-door that many of us remember fondly, but as yet another small crossover known as the Eclipse Cross. In the four years since, it has slowly but surely built up some momentum in the crowded crossover field. So let's see if updates for 2022 will ramp things up even more for the Eclipse Cross. While we weren't fully on board with Mitsubishi sacrificing the Eclipse name at the altar of crossover SUVs, we did acknowledge in our original road test that it did carry on the Eclipse tradition of delivering a lot of bang for the buck. That was probably exactly what Mitsubishi needed to stay relevant. Updates for 2022 make an even better case. Exterior changes are a bit more comprehensive than the typical mid-cycle fascia redo. Up front, there's a revised hood, as well as a whole new face with reshaped bumper, grille, and headlights. While high-mounted daytime running lights look very sleek and add a modern flavor, the transformation in back is even more extreme with an entirely new hatch that looks more traditional SUV than the previous hatchback shape with split glass. Combined with the new fascia, it adds more than five inches onto the overall length of the Eclipse Cross and provides almost two cubic feet of additional storage space inside without altering the wheelbase itself. Now 23.4 cubic feet of room in back expanding to 50.1 with the rear seatbacks folded. Inside this compact five-seater, all but base ES trim, get a new eight-inch touchscreen display audio system. Not only does this thankfully eliminate the console-mounted touchpad controller, but the screen is now two inches closer to the driver, plus it gets both volume and tuning knobs, as well as the ability to add TomTom -tom navigation. Safety features get upgraded too, with forward collision mitigation and lane departure warning now standard on all trims. SC and above add blind spot warning with lane change assist. Front seats are quite comfortable, and while rear seat space is a little adult tight, it's adequate for the kiddos. Top SEL trim gets silver and high gloss black trim, heated front seats, and even a multi-view camera system. About the only thing that hasn't changed is the 1.5 liter four-cylinder turbo engine under the hood. It still puts out a modest 152 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque, working through a CVT to power the front wheels. Super all-wheel control, all-wheel drive is optional with all trims. An aggressive throttle helps to make it a bit torquier than what we'd expect from a tiny 1.5 liter and has the Eclipse Cross feeling quite sporty. But the very soft suspension doesn't quite live up to it when you throw some curves into the mix. Despite an overhaul that includes larger rear shocks, more rigid subframe connections, and upgraded springs, there's still a lot of body roll when cornering. Especially when pushed to its limits in our handling course. Though even with the soft roly-poly feel, there was decent grip through the cones as Mitsubishi's super all-wheel control not only shuffles power rearward when necessary, but diverts it side to side as well. And it also uses selective braking to minimize understeer. And steering was quite direct with surprisingly good feel. That initial torquiness you feel at launch quickly dissipates with acceleration taking on a more lackluster feel as speeds increase. 60 miles per hour took a lengthy 8.6 seconds to achieve. Continuously variable transmissions rarely make for an exciting time at the track. So despite simulated shifts as well as quieter engine droning than most, it makes for a slow 16.8 second quarter mile ending at 80 miles per hour. That soft suspension contributes to moderate nosedive on hard braking, but stops from 60 averaged an excellent 103 feet.
Government fuel economy ratings with all-wheel drive are 25 city, 26 highway, and 25 combined. We saw a great 26.4 miles per gallon of regular. Pricing starts at just $24,940, just a few hundred dollars more than when it debuted for 2018. All-wheel drive is a $1,600 option. Top SEL comes in at $28,940. The 2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross may have lost a little bit of its funky uniqueness. It's now clearly more mainstream than before. And while that could potentially be disappointing to some, it's usually the key to long-term success. Adding more capability and increasing functionality are also sure to help make it the success it deserves to be as well.